Hey there, this is Don Marie from Sign Parties 101, Sign Party Central, and The Board Box, helping you get started on your own sign party business. I've been answering the most frequently asked questions that I get all the time in five minutes or less to help you get out the door and running. Today's question is, how much should I charge for a party? And for that answer, I'm gonna give you three parameters that I like to think of when I'm deciding on my prices. First, you wanna keep in mind your cost, your time, and your profit. First, you wanna calculate everything that's involved in your costs as far as making that sign goes. So you're gonna look at the time it takes you to prepare the materials, the time that it's gonna take you at the party, the cost of supplies, the cost of your employees or instructors that you have to do the parties for you, rent, all that kind of stuff, your cost for that sign Calculate it out and make sure that you're charging enough to cover your costs and include a profit. We always want a profit. If you don't profit, you don't have a business. That's called a hobby. There's many different calculations that you can use to get that base price. Maybe it's your cost times three. Some people do length plus width times two of their sign. There's many different ways to figure it out. The most important thing that you do is you make sure your costs are covered and you're making a profit. The second thing I would look at is what is your competition charging? Maybe you live in an area where there are several businesses or makers doing the same type of project. Look at what their costs are. That will help you gauge where you should put your prices so you're not way above or way below what your market charges. It's okay to be a little bit different, but you wanna be in the same general price point. And the third thing I would look at, and maybe this sounds a little silly, but I think what would I pay if I were purchasing that sign or going to that party? What would I be willing to spend to get that final product. And then that helps me decide what I should charge for my parties. So if you take into consideration those three things, your costs plus profit, your competition, and what would you pay, that gives you a general idea of the price point that you should start at. And always remember, you can adjust your prices. You can adjust up, you can adjust down, just because you start at one price does not mean that you have to stay there forever. So just keep that in mind when you're starting out and don't get so hung up on what you're gonna price it at that you freeze and don't start. Just start and adjust from there. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Can't wait to be back. Join me next time to get your questions answered.